Okay, this is a video tutorial on how to install Ultimaker Cura uh, for turning your STL files into prints that can be, uh, or files that can be sent over to the 3D printers. So to get started, we're gonna go to hackberrylab.com uh, and click on student resources. And on that page, we're going to choose 3D printing. Uh, and there's a tutorial here called setting up Cura. So we're gonna start with that. Okay, what we'll do is we're going to go to the Cura software download page. So we'll open up that up in a new uh, tab. And we're going to go ahead and download this file. Um, for this particular uh, instance, it's Ultimaker uh, Cura 4.13, um, but whichever is the latest version should work fine. Uh, while that's downloading, um, you're also going to want to download the Hackberry Draft print profile, um, and that's what we'll be using uh, in this tutorial uh, for doing our prints. Once you've got the uh, Cura software downloaded and installed, um, when you open it for the first time, uh, it's going to uh, take just a moment uh, to load up, um, but we'll need to do some configuration to tell it a little bit about our printers here in Hackberry, uh, as well as the uh, loading in that draft profile. So we'll click get started, and we can agree, and this is fine. We can go ahead and skip, we don't need to create an account, um, but we're gonna add a non-networked printer, uh, and what we're gonna be looking for is a Creality, 3D, uh, and we want the Creality Ender 3. So this option right here. We can click Next. Okay, these settings should be uh, just fine. We'll just double check over those. Uh, yep, and this should be just fine. So let's click Next. And we can go ahead and click Skip and Finish. Okay, now at this point, the only change we need to make is to our nozzle. So we're gonna change that from a 0.4 nozzle to a 0.6 nozzle. Okay, we'll click okay. Uh, now at this point then, we need to load in our settings that are specific to uh, the type of quality prints that we wanna do. Um, and so if we click down on here and choose uh, custom, here we can see we're at the standard quality. We're gonna click a drop down here and go to manage profiles. And if we go to import, and go to our downloads folder or wherever we save that uh, Hackberry draft profile. We can click OK and open, and it should say successfully imported Hackberry draft. Uh, and we're going to select that and click close. Okay. And here in the profile, then we should be able to navigate down to our Hackberry draft uh, profile. And our software is now configured uh, and ready to convert files. Uh, to convert your first file, we can go to click open. Uh, and at this point, you would just need to navigate to any file that you have uh, have created. So we'll say, you know, here. So here's a file that we're ready to go. Uh, and then at this point, then we can click slice. Uh, and this will convert the file into a format that our printers will be able to understand. And once it's done slicing, okay, that's going to tell us how long it will take. Um, if it's your first print, you'll want to keep it around three hours or less. Um, but in this particular case, we'll make that uh, work for us. So we'll click Save to Disk. I'm going to save this in a place where I'm going to be able to find it. Okay. And at this point, it has saved it in this G-code file, which is what our 3D printers understand. Uh, at this point then, uh, if I come down to wireless 3D printing, uh, I can see that I've got a variety of 3D printers that are available for me. I'd, so we'll go ahead and make a note that when we're logging into our printers, the username is student and the password is Martha. So I'm gonna click on Brayden. And so we'll say username is student, password is Martha. And this should upload this. We can see that there's a print already going. Um, so we'll want to let that go ahead and finish printing. Uh, but in the meantime, I should be able to upload the, uh, the file that I have. Uh, and then at this point, then uh, you'll notice that you won't be able to go ahead and click print right now, um, but you'll need to check with a lab assistant. We'll be able to go over your print with you and get it sent off to that printer. Uh, and the reason why we do this is to make sure that there's enough filament on the printer, that there's not another print going on, uh, and that everything is in good shape with your print. But if you do those steps, you should be in good shape to start using the printers in the lab. And that's it.